Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Let's Play Junk Jack X. What? Yes, you can see in the bottom right hand corner that I have gone um, into the beta for Junk Jack X. And I'd like to just start off by saying thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so thankful for getting in because I know that pretty much everyone else that got into the beta super active on the forums and definitely not I think I have about 20 posts maybe close to 30 now I don't know I'm not very active so I'm just very thankful for getting into this and getting a chance to show um, just some gameplay off to you guys um, if you don't want the game to be spoiled I suggest not watching the video and um, this isn't gonna be a series I'm just trying to show some of the new features off that I've found so far and I know that I haven't even scratched the surface of the game yet. So first off, let's look at the options. Everything is pretty much the same here. We have peaceful and continuous time, which were both in the original junk deck. And then we have symbol crafting, which I personally haven't played around with too much. Um, I don't really see, for me personally, I don't really have a need for it. But if you were like new and starting off and you don't really know the craft notes that well, um, then I could see you maybe needing it, um, but, yeah, I personally haven't played around with it, and also if you use symbol crafting, then you lose the, um, extra nine slots in your inventory from the crafting grid, so that's why I prefer to play without simple crafting. And then we have interface, all these are the same, I'm not really sure what this last one is, close inventory, to book I'm assuming I don't know it cuts off a couple other things cut off we have graphics um, it actually has lower graphics which is surprising because um, I'm assuming it just takes off smooth lighting and maybe lowers the quality of the textures but um, I'm on a third generation iPod and I am not having any problems at all um, I do crash here and there but it's also because um, it's a beta, so that'll happen. And then we just have sounds, and then in miscellaneous, we have, um, you can delete your player, and this is an option to delete all worlds, not single ones, just all worlds. And then there is the much anticipated multiplayer. I have not personally um, gotten into a game with someone, but I know other people in the beta have been playing with each other, and um, apparently it works really well and I really want to get into a game with someone and then um, continue and then worlds and so uh, now in Junk Jack X you can have more than three worlds and this is my main world that I've been playing on and um, this is just kind of like my extra world and this is a creative world so I will show off creative real quick. Um, so how it works is you go into your inventory and then you can basically select the different, kind of like in Junk Jack right now, um, like the different categories. I think they're, they're kind of similar along the same lines. Um, so you can pick different categories um, and find all the stuff that you want. You still have the map that can zoom out, and then this button um, right here. You can turn it on and off to be flying, and then you just scroll up and down like you would normally. And there you go. That's pretty much creative in a nutshell. I'm not going to go into it too much, but you press the button to fly, and then when it's not pressed, you're not flying. So let's go back. Exit. So when you add a new world... You might have heard that Junk Jack X has new dimensions. So when you first start out in the game, I think you only have Adventure Mode and you might have Terra. I'm not completely sure about that. But then once you find portal pieces in Terra, um, you will find the portal pieces to Seth. And Seth is a deserty world, which um, like a deserty Egyptian world, which I'll show off later. Um, so as you go on in adventure mode and find more portals, then you can start new worlds in those dimensions that you found, if that makes any sense. Um, and then in adventure mode, you obviously can't choose creative because it's adventure mode. Um, but then you can go ahead and uh, choose creative in any of those worlds. 
and we are going to go ahead and go into earth and this is my what i have so far it's nothing too fancy i've only been playing for about two days now um two i think this is going on the third day so i will show off the inventory first so this is the main inventory you can see um you have your, just like all of your items and then you can see you have your armor and armor is another highly anticipated thing. So right now I just kind of have random stuff on. These are pretty much, except for the pants, they're all stuff that I've either gotten from mobs or just like found in chests underground. Um, so like this is a iron pot hat and I think I found this in a treasure chest. And then this is a mage tunic, which, um, if you know, in the original Junk Jack, um, this mob is also in Junk Jack X. It's the mob that's in a hell biome that, like, throws, like, the little blue orb things that are the skull, soar the skull souls. Um, I killed one of those and got his tunic, so that's what I'm wearing. Um, black pants, which these are the pants that I start out with. And I got skeleton boots. Uh, which I must have gotten off a skeleton. I didn't notice them till later. And then a skeleton necklace, which obviously I got off a skeleton. And um, this gives you, um, other than, I know it gives me like an extra two hearts, I think. So I have seven hearts if I have full health. Um, but I'm not sure if it does anything else. Um, and then obviously ammo, I have arrows. And then there's this little tab that you can pull down. And I'm not completely sure. Oh, okay. I have nine. Nine hearts, I think. Right now, I have 3.7. And then I'm not really sure what the other percentages mean. I haven't really quite figured that out yet. I'm still kind of stumped on it. Like, I don't really quite know what it means if it's, like, um, maybe, like, attack strength or something. I'm not really sure. I still have to mess around with it. Um, so you might be wondering, well, where's the craft grid? You said you weren't on simple graphic or simple crafting and the little hammer next to it takes you to your crafting grid. And before there was, um, an extra button, you might notice that it's missing and it took everything out of your crafting grid. Well, now instead of hitting that button, you just hit the hammer again. And it takes it all out. That took me a while to figure out. I was like, I missed that button so much. Because it was taking so long to take everything out. Um, but yeah, you can flip between these easily. And even if you go into something else, like a chest, it will just add another tab. So you can still switch through these easily. Which is nice because if you went mining or something and you have stuff in your craft grid... You can go ahead and take those out and then flip back over to your chest and just plop it in. Um, which is a nice feature that we don't have in Junk Jack right now. And then we go on to the craft book, which is slightly confusing. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone that I've talked to or seen talk about it, um, they were, like, slightly confused when they first started. Um, but it's pretty simple once you know what to do. So, um, we'll just do tutorial first. Um, I definitely suggest like skimming through these because some of them are actually helpful, particularly like the portal ones. Um, if you don't know what you're doing at all with the portals, um, the, it's not really necessary, but like I, it's, it's helpful if you don't know what you're doing in a certain area. So back to the craft book. So you can see the hand is highlighted right now. And that means that um, you are by the object. So obviously we have our hands with us. So um, in our hand, we can basically make any stone and wood tools and a workbench. And then just like torches, a bow, a chest, a wood bridge, um, a ladder, and a bolt of bandages, which I'm not sure what does yet. I haven't gotten any bandages to make it yet, so I'm not really sure what it does. So that's all the stuff that we can make in our hand. So, for example, if you made a workbench, then you can go into, let's walk over workbenches up here. So now, actually the workbench isn't highlighted. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. 
So now the workbench is highlighted, so we can click on that. And you can click on these even if they aren't highlighted, but when it's highlighted, it just means like you're by that item and you can craft these items. Um, so we go in here and now we can make pretty much any of the other workbenches and like the furnace and cooking pot and stuff like that. And then of course there's some extra stuff. So I will go over the workbenches. We'll I'll just go over everything on here. So here's a black pencil, not sure what it does. And then we have a furnace and then the first armor that you'll probably be able to make is um, wood armor. I think it's kind of random and it's really ugly, but um, I've made it. Um, it's really ugly, but you know, whatever. I think it's kind of funny. And then we just have an intanium chest, anvil, bed, uh, bone torch, which I didn't think was like necessary I didn't really know what the purpose of that was and then I was thinking oh maybe you if you run out of wood underground and you have some like bones on you because you killed a skeleton then that's really useful so if you run out of wood underground you still have a way to make torches which is nice um, and then here's one of the new craft bench type things it's a carpentry bench and this makes um, like wood items I'll show what items it makes later um, cooking pot, which we had before, and cooking ware. Um, copper chest, and then here's just a cow shed for um, teaming cows and stuff like that. A dyeing machine, which is new. The dyeing used to be in with the loom. They used to be kind of like a combined thing in Junk Jack, um, but now they are a separate thing, which is kind of annoying because it just means like one more thing that you have to make and find room for. Um, but I mean, it's fine. They're separate. Another chest, a hen house, iron chest, and here's the loom by itself. Um, and then here's another new bench, which is a mason bench. It's kind of similar to the carpentry bench, but it does stuff with stone instead of wood. Mithril chest, pig trough, reinforced door, sheep, sheep fold, um, silver chest, spider web, um, spinning wheel, same thing. Um, stone bridge and then the last new one is tanning tools which I don't have too many craft notes for so um, I built it but I don't really have a purpose for it yet um, a tiki torch and then the jewelers bench is now called a tinkerers tools which I feel like it should be called like a tinkerers bench or something um, this you now um, it's not just for like diamonds and like encrusting tools and stuff it's for basically making anything small and I'll show what it can make later um, titanium chest um, titanium as a new material um, I personally haven't found anything um, found any titanium but I'm pretty sure you have to get to a different world to find titanium I think you have to um, go through one or two di more dimensions than I have before you find titanium. And then we have a tough door, a normal door, and a sign. Are we okay? Yes, okay, the doors are closed. One thing is that um, before in Junk Jack, uh, the only mobs that would come out at night were slimes and like smaller slimes and skeleton heads. But now like full on like skeletons and zombies will come out. And it's not too bad right now because I think I was like up on a ladder and there weren't too many that could spawn. But like you will get at least like 10 like banging on your door. Not that I know. Um, I don't think they can break down doors that I know of. Um, but they're definitely a little bit annoying. But I guess that's fine. It adds an extra bit of a challenge because nights weren't really much of a challenge. They were just more of an annoyance. Anyway, moving on to the anvil, here we basically just have all the armor we can craft and tools. There's a couple other things, um, let's see, I haven't looked through here for a while. Um, iron fence, um, iron bucket, let's see here. This is something new, bronze alloy. Um, so now bronze is another new material as well as tin. I'm pretty sure the only use for tin, at least that I found so far, is um, it is just to combine with copper to make bronze alloy. So that's the only use that I've really found for tin yet. Um, 
and you you can't smelt tin into an ingot so i'm assuming you can't really do much with it but make it into bronze alloy and then afterwards you can smelt bronze alloy into um, ingots and then obviously um, make them into bars um, the Tinkerer's Bench, this is something um, that I was talking about. It's pretty much anything small, like a wood bucket, um, uh, empty glass, these keys, which I'll show um, what they do. And then um, these, um, like the air essence, be 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 whatever, this thing, it, they kind of look, look like necklaces or rings. You can also make a widget and a snowball. Um... So these are four in here, where I had that skeleton necklace right here. They give you different power-ups um, and different abilities, like this one, um, let's see. So you can see when I take it out, my heart's dropped down to seven, and so I'm pretty sure, let's see, what else does it give me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it only gives me um, two more hearts, so... Um, that's what that one does so i'm not sure what the other ones do i haven't like um gotten any more necklaces so i'm not sure what other ones do um for the keys let's go down here um let's see if i can find yep yeah, right here so here are some other keys there's copper iron silver and gold and i'm sure there's mithril and antanium and those other materials I'm not sure about, um, what was it, bronze, not sure about that one, um, but these are for underground in Jug Jack, you can find, um, treasure chests, and before you just needed a hammer to get into them, um, but now you need keys to unlock them, and you can find these underground, where did they just go, and you can find these underground, um, some biomes I know have, like, um, little decorations where like keys are sitting on a wall or like on a shelf or something and you can get them from there and I think I'm and I'm not sure if I've gotten them out of crates before um, but I know you can get them like off the wall and stuff and I think um, I've only opened up copper treasure chests before because it took me a while to like figure out what the keys were for and why I wasn't able to like smash treasure chests um, but, uh, yeah, it kind of, I don't know, I would, what I would do with these keys if I was going to do, like, a big mining haul is I would take them into my secondary world and put them in chests. And then when I need them, I just, like, flip back over and grab them so they don't take up, like, a lot of room in my inventory. Um, I do that a lot, uh, mining back and forth. So, um, obviously if I can do that, you can, your inventory still switches over between worlds which is nice although the duplication glitch um is not included you can see here there is um, no backup option uh however i i've heard that there's if you have um a multiplayer so if you have like two devices and you do like local multiplayer i've heard that you can um do a duplication glitch through there i'm not sure how you do it but i've heard there is one um, let's see, moving on, um, carpentry, so just, um, wood items, and then, uh, I believe furniture will be in here, um, because we have a drawer here, and then, like, a sofa and a deffet, um, and then the a new item is a wood board, um, yeah, is a wood board, and these are used, like, in a tough door um they're used in a couple of different things um it, yeah it's just kind of like an an extra step um let's see here going back the mason bench um so pretty much just like stone things and clay clay is now when you break a clay block underground it'll give you four pieces instead of just the block now so you can um make them back into the clay block um and single pieces will make a clay um when put in a furnace will make a uh, clay brick if i could speak um but yes moving on um spinning wheel don't have any recipes 
um, loom. So when you kill a sheep, you get raw wool. And the weird thing is, I think I actually saw, um, no matter what color the sheep is, it will always give you white wool. And I'm not sure if that's going to change, um, but right now you can only get white wool. There's no black or brown, even though they are black and brown sheep. Um, so you can turn that into yarn, which in Junk Jack used to be like pretty much you just get raw wool and turn it into yarn because I don't think there's anything else you could do with raw wool. But now um, you put two together and you make cloth and then um, the cloth turns into a block. So that adds another step in there to make um, a white cloth. Um, wool isn't in as many things but it's still in things so you wouldn't want to go ahead and just make everything into cloth. You definitely want to just keep the raw wool. Um, depending on what you want to do and then the dyeing I haven't I've heard people have had problems with the dyes they haven't been able to find like the base things for the dyes um so I haven't personally dyed anything but you can see you can dye pants and stuff like that um I don't actually know how to make pants but I'm assuming it'll have to do with the loom probably and then um, tanning tools, which I don't have too many craft notes for. Um, you can get um, brown scale armor legs, which you get these from in Seth, I think, which is the desert one. I think you get these from scorpion mobs that are um, around on the surface. And then I made this, but I don't know what it does. Like, you can't eat it, you can't place it, like, you can't, can't do anything. So I'm not sure what it does no um and then we have cooking ware which is food only have cupcakes right now um cooking pot um have a nice amount of food right now but definitely not everything um and then yep furnace so these are all the materials copper bronze alloy um which i think should just be oh bronze alloy to bronze ingot yeah that's right um, iron, silver, gold, mithril, and titanium, titanium, and then, um, there's just the clay brick, and then we just have some windows and some food, and you can see in the picture, um, that it's the, uh, smelting setup is different now. You actually have to wait, which is why I have two furnaces here, because, um, I was waiting for things to cook. Let's see if I have anything that I can cook. Um, I don't think so. Can you cook eggs? I'm not sure if you can. Let's see here. Nope, you can't. That's unfortunate. Um, let's see. Is there something else I can cook? Um, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. um, I don't think there is. I don't think I have any. Oh. We can use clay. Let's smelt some clay. So we just throw that in there. And then this goes up. And if you have continuous time on right now, this doesn't work. I haven't actually tried it in this version because um, they recently updated the beta. So um, I'm not really sure. But if you're on continuous time, then the bar just won't go up. Which makes sense because if you're like in something, then that means like your time stops because you're not on continuous time and yeah 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 um um so I think we covered all of those um the reason I think this is a little bit confusing particularly if you're just starting is because um if you don't know what item you need to craft something then um you just like don't really know where to look really um and then also just like starting out from scratch again with like no no craft notes. Um, quite a few of the craft notes are different. Like for example, um, for metal swords, you above iron, I think. Um, you need a iron bar instead of a stick. Um, also, the door is different. Where did the door go? Um, the door is different. 
um just like little things like that are different the craft note for the workbench is different um just little things they're mostly like the same if they've changed but um they're like different enough that it becomes a little confusing um let's see you can sleep um graphic wise i think the great the, the game the game i think the game looks great um i'm not really let's kill the zombie i'm not really a ginormous fan of the um animal models i think they look a little derpy but um you know what not why not i could i can deal with derpy looking animals um, let's see if we can get one to pop up. Oh, you can see it flashes. I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that. It hasn't done that until this model. But it, um, comes up and tells you you're, like, too far away to interact with something. Um, as well as a couple other things. Like, um, if you're trying to sleep. Yeah, they're just not working now. Um, I don't know if they're planning on completely removing it or if that's just a glitch now. Um, but it'll tell you, you know, you can't sleep, um, in the daytime. Um, let's see here. And, um, let's get rid of this pig. Oh, skeleton, go away. Um, and this is a portal. So, I think I've said before that, um, I've only found, um, the Seth dimension, which I will go to in a minute. So, when mining, you have to find, there'll be, like, special chests. And you'll, you can tell when you see them. Um, you have to find three of them and um, put them in this shape and it will put a little portal here and then you just go in front and tap and then it will load over to the new world and this is Seth and um, Seth is just like a desert and you can see these guys they're not easy to beat but if you just walk past them they'll get rid of like a whole heart of damage so that's not very good get rid of you and I'm pretty sure this is where you get those brown beast scale things um, so get rid of those and these guys usually drop whoops as you can see um, medium health potions um, health potions I feel like are um, definitely a bigger like a more common drop in junk jack X and that's probably just because um, if you're not armored well um, it's really easy to die, like, the mobs are a lot harder in Junk Jack X. Um, and here's a camel, or I think it's a camel, yes. Um, and they give you, uh, a brown hairy tail and meat, I think, or no, I'm not sure. Um, but that's pretty much it. Oh, and there's these guys, and there's, like, one other guy that looks similar that's brown I think and I think that's pretty much it for um like surface mobs I haven't done any mining in here so I'm not really sure what it looks like underground I know there's like a purple area Let's see if we can get there we no we shouldn't because we will die if we don't one thing that I'm sad about that I'd like to point out is these are the new uh coconut trees at least I'm pretty sure they are because they drop these saplings palm tree excuse me palm trees these are the new palm trees which if you've been watching my junk jack series right now you will know that i am all into using palm trees as um poles for things and now you can't and it's really sad and it makes me sad um anyways a new thing with the trees is that um they have decaying leaves so you break it and then you can see the leaves will um, slowly decay. And there's also three, I'm pretty sure there's three different natural wood colors. I actually have all three in here. Um, they, they look different in your inventory, but like when you put them side by side, um, they don't look that much different. Let's see, we can put them over here. They don't look that much different, um, especially if you're just doing like light to normal or normal to dark. You can't really see that much of a difference because um, I'm actually using dark 
um, like this is dark wood and this is normal wood and then I think um, the background right here is um, right here you, it's not letting me right here there we go right here and the background is light wood I think so when you use it in builds there's really not that much of a difference I feel like um, but as you can see like out here there's more of a difference but I wish they were like more there was like more of a difference um I'm trying to think um there's definitely new biomes underground which I don't think I'll get to because they will take a while to whoops they will take a while to get to um I just like made a straight diagonal line down and you can see I made an another one a little bit further over um a new thing with zooming in and out so um, there's like the initial zoom when you hit the map and then you can see there's no um, spyglass to zoom out again and you just have to touch and hold and then it will zoom out again and I don't honestly I don't really see a purpose in why it needs to be a touch to zoom type thing like why you have to like hold it to zoom out again I don't really see the purpose in why that needs to be um, why it can't just be a button again um, when I first figured that out um, I thought maybe you could like drag or something because I know a lot of people I've been talking about they wanted that feature um, but no you can't it's just like just like what it is in junk jack so I like I said I honestly like don't see a purpose for needing or having it to be like that but you know whatever you get used to it another thing that I don't like is that um, in here for one, you can't see the hearts, you can't see your hearts, so if you are um, in continuous time and a mob is hurting you, you can't really tell because you can't see your hearts, and if you don't have your sound on, like I usually don't have my sound on, um, then you know, you can't tell that you're getting hurt, and then all of a sudden you die, and it really pisses you off, and that has actually happened to me quite a few times. Um, also, you will notice there's no exit button anywhere. And it's because you can click anywhere that's not a button or like the GUI for the inventory and it will just take you out. So like, for example, um, I usually touch in between the buttons. So like in between like the spyglass and the armor helmet or the map and the trash can. But you can also hit up in the corner kind of like in between um, a quick slot. Um, I can't select it in between like this quick slot. On like the side so you can still click in like the general area where the button in junk jack used to be um but i don't know it's still kind of annoying because sometimes it like doesn't respond because you're not hitting a button um so that's somewhat annoying what is this a crocodile tail i haven't gotten one of those before um, so that's a little bit annoying, but those are really the only complaints that I have, and they're not really complaints, they're just kind of like, why was that necessary? Um, so just like the map and having to hold and zoom, and the inventory not having an exit button, um, and that's pretty much it, like the game is great. Sorry this episode is, or video is going on for a long time, I tried to make it as quick as I could. But I wanted to get everything that I could in. Um, like I said, this is not going to be a series. So this is probably one of the only videos that I'm going to do of the beta. Um, unless you guys really, really want me to do another episode. Just doing like mining and stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, no series. Um, it's, nope, nope, nope. Die. Um... And like I said before, I have like not even scratched the surface of this game. So I'm definitely going to be playing more today. And you know, if I discover something else that's amazing, I might do a video on it. Um, but I think that's going to be about it. Um, again, I'm so thankful for getting into the beta. Thank you Pixbits and Jack and XSX for um, accepting me and... Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this episode of, uh, not really Let's Play, but Let's Play Jack Jack X. Woo! Oh yeah, and I also like to point out um, the walking animation. You can't see it too well because I'm wearing a tunic, 
if I take these off, it, it's pretty funny. I think it's hilarious. Like the little feet that go up and down. It's, it, for some reason, it reminds me kind of like of a penguin waddling or something. I don't know. I think it's hilarious. And um, I just realized I also forgot to talk about um, you can customize your character. I can't go into that because um, you can only have one character at a time. And I obviously didn't want to delete this character. Um, but there's like different hairstyles and genders and obviously you can choose your name and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that is for sure this time it. So thank you for watching this week's episode or just this episode of Let's Play Junk Jack X. Woo! You can't jump like you used to. Um, so please like and subscribe and all that stuff and thank you. Goodbye.